Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. If it's your first time come across this channel, yes, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe. We you know we are looking at a road to 5,000 subscribers, at least by the end of this year. Yes, guys, support this uh, channel, support me. Let us, let us try to be a team. We are a team and we've been able to make it from the start. At least we need 5,000 subscribers at the end of this year. In today's video, we are going to look at the tips to follow before coming to the UAE. Because we are talking about the changes that are coming in the UAE. The changes that are already existing in the UAE. First of all, we look at deportation. We look at people being deported away from the country back to return to the country. Yes, those are some of the real changes that are signifying that things are not going to be the same. So in today's video, we are going to look at the tips to follow before coming to the UAE. You know, people who want to work to the UAE for the purpose of work or even what you call the investment residence or even other legal purposes should what you call avoid what you call visa free or they should avoid being being exploited or being deceived of the availability of visas of what has been existing so we are going to look at what are the following things or what are some of the things that you should follow when you are planning to come to the UAE First of all, if you are offered what you call a job in the UAE, you must get what you call an offer letter. That is the latest information. If any company is giving you a job in the UAE, make sure you get that offer letter. And that offer letter should be authenticated or should be issued by what you call the, the Ministry of Human Resources and Emitrization. It should be thoroughly stamped. Then two, you should also, the employer can also verify what you call the job offer validity in the UAE. Either you can use the embassy in your country, the UAE embassy in your country, or you can still verify that job offer in on what you call the online. I'll give you the link where you can inquire whether that job offer that is being given to you that, that company is a genuine job offer. Those are some of the changes that we see. Then still something, we look at number three, that after you sign that offer letter, this company that gives you that offer letter, after you accept the terms to sign that job offer letter, it will be returned and it will be returned and unemployment visa will be given to you to enter in the UAE. Unemployment visa will be given to you to enter in the UAE. Then number four, something that you also need to know that the visa visa or the tourist entry visa does not give you the right to work in the UAE. That is the latest development that is happening. Before we used to see people coming with a visa visa, they would look job and change it immediately. But now it is not allowed. It is illegal. It is illegal. And anything that will be got against you, it will be against you in the courts of law and with what you call the penalties. Then also, something that you need to know that in the new law, all things that you should know also coming, that the new law, your employer should be responsible for payment of what you call the recruitment expenses in the UAE labor law. No more payment of the recruitment agencies that we've been paying, uh, recruitment fees that we've been paying to the agents. Now it's supposed to be your company that is recruiting you, giving the job offer to make sure that everything is paid up from your visa and air ticket until you get to that place of work where they're going to recruit you uh, in that way. Then number six, something that you should know that make sure that that company exists. I told you, you should make sure and to check whether this company exists in the UAE or it does not in, uh, exist. And what normally you can do, you can definitely check on what we call the economic, the National Economic Registry, where we have a list of all companies or all owned entities that are working in the UAE. So probably when you go to those searches and you are punching the name, definitely they will give you all the details of those companies in the UAE. Then you can then definitely know whether this company exists or it does not exist in any way or the other. Then also something that you need to know in case there's something that you don't really understand there's something that you feel you don't understand out of what is being given you to you for example the job over or the contract you can still inquire you can still make what you call inquiry that is from the ministry of human resources and emerization uh, using you can either using the phone numbers that i'll give you also below you can also use what you call the email email address you can still inquire something about what you call uh, something 
talking about what you call these companies. For you to get what you call the real information or to get the information that shows whether this company is genuine. Then also something that you should also have is that you should also be issued what you call a, a residence permit or the visa and this visa should also be verified its validity this visa that you're given to to enter into your AAE should have a validity or should have its validity and you can as well also check on what you call this uh, government websites whether to, to to find out whether the visa is genuine something also that you need to you you need also to know that you, you can also verify you can also verify what you call the validity of that visa that is being issued to you uh, from either uh, in any emirate that you are in, if you are in Abu Dhabi, if you are in Syria, if you are in Ajuman, if you are in Kampumin, if you are in Farujain, anywhere you are, you can still uh, verify the validity of that visa or work permit that is being given to you. Uh, uh, is being given to you by uh, what you call that employer. Then something that you also need to know that uh, uh, now the new changes is that the tourist visa can also be issued by what you call the UAE based airlines. When you talk about the based airlines, we are looking at those national carriers, the airlines that are operating in the UAE, for example, Etihad, uh, Etihad then we look at Dubai, then we look at all those other uh, other airlines they can also book through what you call the agencies and hotel in one way or the other then something that also you should know there is nothing called like what you call an independent employment visa some of us or some of people have been going to dubai and they have what you call what they call an independent visa where you can have it your own you can move and do whatever part time of work in any way or the other now that one has completely gone off you never have something like unemployment independent employment visa all employers or all employees should be working under a, what you call a company and it is only that company that can give you a right either to part time to some other company or not depending on what we call uh, depending on the agreement or depending on the contract that is being signed between the the employer and the the, the party in one way or the other then something that also you should know uh, something that Although when you are coming to UAE, something that you should know, what we call a residence visa cannot be processed for anyone while the applicant is outside the UAE. Remember, a residence visa can also be issued, can only be issued to an applicant inside the UAE having what we call enter the country or what we call an entry permit if you enter with what you call an entry permit or twice visa then you can you can try to apply for your residence visa and you can still get what you call your id in one way or the other hope i've tried to share up something for you you know we are looking at the visas in the uae we are looking at the latest information and this is exactly that you need to know you can share up to their friends you can let them know such that they don't have to fall in another trouble that has been happening for hope i've tried to enjoy something share something with you thank you so much and see you again in the next video is makes from the next creation team.